Simon, welcome back. How are you today? Good, good. It's good to be back. I waited a whole week for this. Let's go. Awesome. So today we are going to talk about the Zo Expense setting section, right? Yeah, yeah. Light overview, couple of main things. We'll do a test trial. Awesome. And what's important for me the most is that you'll tell us what you can do mm -hmm. instead of like showing us click, 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 because I don't want to be too technical so people won't die here, but sure. I want them to understand the software, what they can use it, and eventually they will take an educated decision if this tool is for them. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Let's share okay. screen. Okay. All righty. Do you like my background, by the way? It's it's beautiful. It's from today, 6.40 a.m. This is when everything started. It was awesome. That's good. I was on my like 15th dream. <laughs> okay. So this is a test platform. Um, we've used this before in the past. And yeah, this is the login page as a user. So the views are here. Um, for people who are admin, they'll have this little section over here where they can control some of the functions and the settings. But this is essentially where you work out of. And one really, really cool, important thing to remember, all the receipts that you import into expense, there is no limit on scanning. From what I understand, every single receipt will be auto-scanned. In okay? those books, it costs money. That's right. But in expense, you can auto-scan, which is a huge, uh, it's a big help. So maybe I don't need to use the books to upload the shit. I can do it from here. Possible. Yeah. But again, this is more of a control process, which will help the people submitting. You know, you have a massive team that does that for you. So that's another beautiful thing, right? Um, but yeah, so you got obviously your personal settings here and things like that, uh, mm -hmm. analytics. And you can have the trip section, but to be quite honest with you, a lot of people and customers that we've dealt with, they don't really use the trips as much unless it's a massive company that actually needs us for control. So trips will be, let's say, like my last week trip, Mexico, multiple people, hotels. Tri okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. And it's more for an approval, but there's no like booking area. This is where I guess Zoho Expense lacks a little bit from the bigger companies like Concur or Expensify. You can't book travel through the platform which is fine. It's not yeah, that I think useful. It's okay. Yeah. I mean, and we those, know companies. Yeah. Yeah. And those software concur and all those softwares, when you book, uh, let's say hotel from the software, it probably will limit you to some vendors, right? You can do it for, with anyone. Yeah. There's like, they have a massive list of uh, suppliers that they work with. It, mm -hmm. It's all the main ones, but the problem is too, it's also, it's expensive. It costs more money to have that option as well. Oh, okay. Because you have like, you know, booking advisors and things like that. So it's just more expensive. So anyways, um, so that's your view. Okay. And yes. by the way, this is the new expense, Zoho expense. This is 2.0. It came out, I think around May. Before that, that, we the had new the old one, one. is crazy, right? Yeah. It's yeah. Big, big changes. So let's, let's dive into a couple of small things. So under okay. the admin area, you have the settings and I don't want to worry about this because a lot of this is reporting. A lot of this is approvals and things like that. But if you head over to settings, this is where the majority of the control sits. Okay. okay. And you know, you have the typical stuff and all of this organizational profile taxes and stuff, all that feeds from Zoho books. So whatever you update in Zoho books, we'll update here. Wow. That's great. Such yeah. a relief. Yeah. Oh. Cause you don't have to set up the entire organizational that's crap right. all from scratch. Yeah. Um, okay. Let's go into modules. This is where you can customize all of your little areas. Okay. You have quite a bit of control here. We're not going to go into too much detail here, but within each one, you have a ton of different, uh, controls, things that you can change, modify fields that you can add, make mandatory again, just high level stuff. Right. Yeah. So, so let's, let's stay with the high level. Cause you, you already yeah. started to click and I got totally overwhelmed. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. let's go back to the trips with the yeah. trips. This is where bigger companies will start to log their trips. That's right. And yeah. this is the settings of the trips. How they will do it. Exactly. Approval yeah. processes, automations, and so on. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Awesome. Okay. Now I see that, that you have also some fields on the top and buttons. Mm -hmm. And that means that you can customize also what information you're asking from the 
person who is logging the trip. Exactly. And also you can do some with the links and buttons, you can create some workflows and custom functions for the cool stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. Very cool, very cool. And every module here has that. So the reports will have the same thing. Wow. Yeah. So you can customize your reports? Yeah. Damn. Yeah, and by the way, reports means the expense report. So like for one month, it's one report with a whole bunch of line items. Yeah, yeah. But you can customize the report headings. Kind of like an invoice. Let's think of it that way, right? You have an invoice and then a bunch of line items. You can customize the whole thing. That's awesome. Okay. So let's go back. Let's just start. Let's do an example. Okay. We have one unreported expense. We loaded this receipt in here. So wait. Okay. So this this expense, someone just drag and drop it into the yep. previous screen that we saw. That's yep. it. Yep. Exactly. That's so it. So now, now there is an expense, just a PDF or whatever it is and that's it yeah and it's okay. not it's not attached to an expense report so we'll have to create one so this is the first step we get in okay. here take a look at the expense okay so once we click on that the t the system will automatically pull some of the data okay mm -hmm. it assumes that it's a u.s transaction that's fine for the and people that seeing the video this is a 2021 video not 2015 yeah that's so right know. Yep. <laughs> I got to download newer shit. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so it pulls all of the fields that it can. And again, it learns as it goes, right? So if you use the same merchant, the same type of merchant, and here we don't have a merchant, so we'll call it. It says service. cotton rib dress socks. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like my grandfather's receipt. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and here's where you categorize it. So you pick the category. And again, these fields are being pulled from Zoho Books and are restricted within Zoho Books as well. So you have in the GL area over there, you can restrict which ones show up here. And then within this platform, you can also restrict other things. So we can just pick something random here. You know, grandpa's, all the other expenses, <laughs> grandpa's stuff. Now, this stuff here, uh, claim your reimbursement, the system automatically knows that this is not linked to a corporate credit card transaction. So it knows that this is paid out of pocket and that's why you're claiming reimbursement. Got it. So the employee paid for it and I need to give it to him. Exactly. We are going to call it Lior's grandpa's grandpa. rib dress socks. Deep, deep, deep. dress socks. Exactly. See? <laughs> Stick to accounting. Okay. And... <laughs> Again, all of these fields can be customized, but we can put reference here, but it's not really that useful to be quite honest with you. And then we click add to report. This is where we what create our report? first report. Yeah. So report is just a, uh, it's a folder with a whole bunch of receipts. Let's think about it that way, right? Like a bucket. Yeah. So um, right now it's, it's a specific time in 2021. Let's just say we're closing out October. So mm -hmm. this one, for example, report name, I usually say something like this, October 21. And you can put the trip reason if, if there was one trip in the month. Um, you could do the employee's name, right? Bobby, let's say. You could do whatever you want here. So, but the report name just signifies to the management team what time frame it covers, what what is it for? And again, we're going to pick a duration. Click so if October. it will be, let's say, the, the Mexico trip, mm -hmm. it will be the start date, the end date, and all the invoices... That's related right. to this trip will be in this bucket. Yeah. And awesome. what we typically recommend for clients that are on corporate credit card systems is yes. you follow statement date. The idea is that if you have a get a statement and the employee sees the statement for their credit card, they're going to match the total of the expense report to the total of the statement. I see. And trip, but well, we don't have a trip here, so we can just proceed. Okay. Now this receipt is classified in this report. And yes. when we're done loading, let's just mm -hmm. save and close. When we're done loading, you see now there's nothing in the expense section. Yep. But when we're done clearing it all out, and we have a bunch of expenses, we're ready to submit. Okay. And that's it. We just submit right there and we're good to go. Got it. So you submitted for approval of someone? Yeah. And, and that can be customized too, right? Because some executive teams, they don't need to get an approval for certain things, right? If it's within the policy that they have unlimited spend or they, have a, they manage their own buckets throughout the year, 
then the, we can customize a specific workflow that just allows it to just flow through and just click approved right away. Can I say that uh, up to $500 a day, no approval required? Oh, Absolutely. Wow. Yeah. Very cool. Maybe that's for another video. Very cool. So now when I'm submitting it, let's assume that I do have an approval process mm -hmm. because my bookkeeper or admin assistant will do those reports. And maybe the CEO likes to review before he's approving them. Mm -hmm. uh, so the submission will send it to the CEO for approval. Is that how it works? Yeah. yeah, you need to create a hierarchy. And that's where you build the process map of where the expense report goes, who touches it, right? Okay. And you could set it by role. You can set it by specific user. So you could say one user has to submit to this person and then this person, right? So... I see. Like that. Or you can set also a limit. So you could say the first user can submit if it's, uh, can approve it if it's under $2,000, the entire report. If it's over $2,000, CEO takes a look. I see. Okay. So let's say that I have those expenses, they approved. Are they going to be pushed also to Zoho Books? Because mm -hmm. in Books, I also have the, the expenses and supporting documents and that's all right the crap. so when you submit this and it's approved through the entire workflow in the process system yes. within zoho books you'll be able to see every single line item and it's coded the same way that it's here automatically you don't need to do any uploads no downloads nothing it's automatic wow that's backup cool. as well so it's all throughout the entire system and you could view it from both so it's really like the expense is an extension of books. That's right. right. Yeah. And it's an extension for serious companies. If you're a serious company, you do expense. I am a serious company. Exactly. <laughs> okay. So that's awesome. Okay. Yeah, what else we incredible. have? So we have the, the advances. Advances. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And advances is something that's typically not recommended for most companies, to be quite honest with you. Um, advances, let's say... This is only for companies that do not have corporate credit cards, okay? Because if you have a corporate credit card, you just prepay a specific amount so that the employee can buy more. Yes. Right? Yes. Um, but if, if the employee, if you don't have corporate credit cards for this one employee and they're stuck somewhere, they need to, you can create an advance and it just puts, it's kind of like a prepayment and it sits on their account and then it applies to the expense report once it's submitted. I see. Okay. Yeah. And cards, I assume those will be the different credit cards and yeah. who they sign to. Yeah. And, and the beautiful thing about this area is you can actually add a personal credit card too, right? So you can yes. add the feed for a personal credit card and then filter through which ones are business related to create expense reports from them and mark them as reimbursable. Lots of different options here. Can you also connect the credit card bank directly or it's all manual the feed yeah so with business credit card with the corporate credit card i know that you can connect the bank feed and it's sucking the information no problem mm -hmm. what do you do with personal cards because you can't really ask the employee to connect his bank account to the card some companies do this so they'll say hey connect if you're the personal cards yeah if you're comfortable yeah. with it you can connect the personal credit card feed here and if you know that you're using this one credit card for personal, sorry, for business related transactions, then you can pick and choose out of it. I see. But that will happen only when I'm, I'm saying this card is only for business work. No, that's the beautiful thing about the personal side. So okay. you can have, let's just say I'm an employee of Amazing Business Results, right? Yes. And I have a personal credit card. I am not at the level that you allow me to have a corporate credit card, right? Okay. So I can connect my personal credit card here. And every so often when I see something that is business related for amazing business results, I then select that one line and then I put it against it. It just saves you a little bit of time. I see. So yeah. me as the employee, I will see my feed. Other people cannot see my feed. And from the bank feed with all the transaction, I can select which one's going to the expense. Yeah. Yeah. Only wow. admin will be able That's to see cool. the feed. But it's not like, uh, unless it's private and you're really scared about it, then don't connect your personal card. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I will also say something very funny. 
Simon is always watching my, my expenses. <laughs> and when I'm expensing, you know what I'm going to say. So when, when I have a big expense, he will call me, hey, you spend too much about this and that. This is how much he cares about businesses. So one time I wanted to drive him nuts. So I created with Photoshop. I oh created, my goodness, yeah. You remember? Yeah. I created an invoice with Photoshop of 20,000 Viagra pills. <laughs> and I uploaded to the system and it took about two minutes and he's calling me, say, Leo, you cannot put Viagra pills on the business. When I thought he would uh, ask me, Leo, you will get heart attack from 20,000 Viagra pills. Yeah, I didn't care about your health. I cared about the <laughs> yeah, re- about, regulations. Yeah, that, that, was, that was crazy. So, yeah, that off track, but that was cool. It took yeah. two minutes that you found out yeah, about you know, 20. The, the crazy thing about these entire systems is that you can automate anything. You can notify somebody when something uploads. You can create pretty much anything. That's the beautiful thing about Zoho and Deluge. Like the sky's the limit. It's it's insane. Absolutely crazy. I Our team has never seen so many people happy with the software in the last like three years. And we service all of them. So, so from books and all the applications, expense will be the top? It's, it's going to take over soon enough. I think that there's wow. a lot of traction. Right now, the majority of clients that we, we talk to about Zoho Books, they end up going with Zoho Expense as well just because of the functionalities. Wow. Yeah, it's impressive. And, and I know that is, is part of the service that your company is giving. You're doing a full setup, uh, creating the policies and everything, teaching yeah. the company how to use them. From that moment on, they have a vehicle that can drive in. Exactly. Everything from start to finish. Yeah. So you don't hold them as hostages that they need you for life. No, I don't like that. <laughs> me too. Me too. The faster the we can get rid <laughs> We had someone uh, on our weekly session, a, a nice lady that uh, the developer is holding her hostage. And that's, and I, we see it a lot that, you know, companies, they just trying to milk their clients as much as possible. And they're, making them slaves basically it's horrible yeah, it's terrible yeah it's not the good it's not the right way of doing business that's for sure look if you know some people they don't i don't say it's not saying it's uh, it's how it's supposed to be mm-hmm. but some companies do not have enough volume and whenever there is a client you know they they just choke him as much as they can to milk whatever they can from him yeah right not for me <laughs> Yeah, yeah, not not for me too, but but it's just no business. Anyway, okay. So today we covered the settings. Is there anything else you want to cover on the settings? I think we're good for today. This was a very you know high level overview of how the system operates from you know the main touch points. Awesome. But we can have another session next week. Sure. And what do you want to cover next week? Uh, we can go more into the automation of notifications things like that, notifications, maybe some workflow items. Yeah. Awesome. Simon, thank you. Thank you for everything you do for me, for my company, for this channel, for people. You're awesome. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye.